So on a more practical design, I've decided not to use the bathtub at this point. So after giving it more thought and I read it, some comments, some guys were asking if it was practical, if I needed the bathtub. No, I do not need the bathtub. Um, it's a little exotic, excuse me. It's a little exotic and I'm not gonna use it at this time because, well, I just wanna get this built. Either way, I wouldn't have been able to move forward until now because I had to get a pickup truck, my, the materials. So I'm ready to move forward. And at this point, I'm not gonna use the bathtub so I can get it done quicker, save the bathtub for another design, and then we can get this done. So I've got a five and a half inch slab already formed up with the rebar ready to pour. It was just it's gonna be a four foot cube. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. I guess I have to cut the rebar around her and like leave a little tunnel so she can get out. It's too nasty today to pour. From there, I'm gonna go up with a 14 inch wall structure of concrete with this support X in the middle, four inch. And this these cavities will be filled with insulation. Then I'm gonna pour these four, 24 inch square slabs so this is a 48 inch square system I'm building. These slabs will be the base of the battery itself. There'll be four of those, I'll form them out and I'll just pour these little four little squares and leave an expansion crack in the middle. Um, it's just easier for me to do it like that and I'll have to form this with steel. That way that's the best I can come up with. This is an idea I came up for a vent system. I was looking at a cinder block and it's got a good size airflow hole here. It's about a four inch by four inch. It may be more than that. I didn't measure. But anyways, it's a good size uh, cavity for air to flow through. It'll work perfect for a vent as far as I can see. And it's made of concrete, which is ideal material to hold heat. I'll use the cinder blocks through the sand battery at the bottom come up the back side or a side and have these heat sinks connected in between each uh, each, each block two of them I guess uh, I'm figuring one at each uh, cavity aluminum plate with a copper rod or, or a tube or something the two coils that I drew up on a previous video okay this is another 3D view concept of the venting and the base and the blocking structure I'll have around it. This is a rough crude drawing, but. And of course, I'm going to have to design an access system to get in here and replace these or add more if I think I need them or whatever the case may be. Eventually, they may go bad and going to want to be able to replace them because of the dimension of the cinder block this is the size I came up with a 48 by 48 inch cube and this is probably going to weigh more than the bathtub <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing over over three ton I guess so it's going to have an exterior cinder block wall so and then this would be the cinder block venting that I showed in the previous uh, sketches and it'll it'll continue out though because it has to continue out past this insulation and a wall structure I have to come up with it may be uh, metal studs 